Welcome back everybody. Last night I got the Cotswolds hat in and it's uh, I've got to say I was impressed with it. I am very impressed with the uh, Cotswolds hat. Uh, will it take the place of a fur felt hat? No. A fur felt hat is going to last you a lot longer. It's going to be able to stand a, up a lot more to the elements and you're going to be able to shape it, reshape it without the fear of having done irreparable damage to the hat this is a great um a great little starter hat i think it'd be a great stunt hat if you're into doing uh, fan films um would i choose this or the dorfman pacific officially licensed indie crushable hat um with the wire in it that the brim is way too big and you can't shape it at all i would definitely choose this one over that this is cheaper uh, with shipping, it was cheaper than the Dwarfman Pacific hat is uh, on a regular basis. Uh, and you can even shape it a little bit. You can shape it to your liking. Like, I put that shape in myself. It, can't, it did come creased off center. And so I just popped it out. It just popped out, open crown. Uh, I didn't have to use anything. I didn't have to use any water or anything with it. I just popped it out. It takes a little coaxing but you can change the shape on it and i'll um i'll do this see if i can't do this on camera just so you have proof there you go I'm putting a little centered in in and i'm gonna take off my fed four there's a centered in let's put it on Let's put a uh, couple of side dents in there. And I really haven't messed with this thing other than um, popping it back out to open crown. And of course it's not going to be completely screen accurate. But the bow is nice. The, uh, the color is nice. The fact that it's a uh, soft felt and not extremely um, rigid and that you can, in fact, change the shape of it is really nice. Uh, just trying to do all this on camera um, so you can see exactly what I'm doing to it. It's soft. I can't believe how soft it is. Um, It's got a snap brim on it. Snaps up, snaps down. So it's not a bad hat. Um, it is not a bad hat. If you're looking for something quick, uh, they're in stock. This is a medium and I'm a 57 and it fit me just perfect. Yeah, this would be a great, um, a great stunt hat. You can't really get them uh wet like a uh, fur felt hat um according to uh, a comment uh from a fellow adventurer uh phil is marble they said that they had one and uh said that it it didn't hold up well at all to the weather and they just they had to get rid of it and uh thank you so much for that because i wouldn't have known about that and um you leaving that comment really helped me and everybody else out uh, your knowledge is helping us out so it's not exactly a screen accurate uh indie hat but it was with shipping it was 63 dollars. that's not bad and the dwarfman pacific hat is going to be a lot wider in the brim than this one than this cotswolds hat um and it's going to have the wire in the hat as opposed to the uh, raw edge on this one, which is more accurate to an indie hat. Um, I believe the bow is more accurate to an indie hat. Uh, and you can shape this. You can shape this uh, to an extent on how you want it. You know, that's, that's not bad for just doing it on the fly. Um, I believe this is, they hand shape them when they send them out because there's no um, there's no 
uh, factory mold lines in this hat. Um, so I think they make them open crown and then they put a hand crease in them and ship them out, uh, which is really nice. But I, uh, I'm surprised at how much I like this hat, to be honest with you. They say it's uh, protected, water treated. It may stand up to some water, but uh, it's not going to stand up like a rabbit or a beaver fur felt hat would. I'll show you the inside of it. Um, there you go. It's satin lined. It's got a, um, a pleather or leatherette sweatband. And this is a medium, and I'm a 57, and this fits me perfectly. And I will say this, that it'll make you want another hat. A good, a decent hat is going to make you want another hat. It's going to give you the taste for another hat. And I could see where having this hat, you, you would want another hat. It would, you, this will be the bug that bites you. And you will want another hat if you don't have a hat. Now let's see how thick it is. Let's see. Trusty, busty micrometer here. See, we'll zero it out. Zero. All right. Is that what it says? 2.28? I'm having to look at it backwards. But this is thick. This is a nice thick. It's It's got some weight to it. It's thick. Uh, they say it's been treated by weather. And you see it's still holding that shape. That dry crease that I just gave it. And according to folks who know uh, about uh, wool hats, they generally say maybe a little missed it with some water uh, from a water bottle. Missed it with some water and uh, then shape it and then uh, hold it to that shape and then let it dry um, to get it shaped how you want it shaped. I purposely didn't do anything to this so I could show you what it's like when you get it. And it got here pretty quick. Uh, it got here in under two weeks, so that was nice. And it came U.S. Post Office, came in the mail yesterday. It, this is a great alternative to that Dorfman Pacific Indiana Jones hat that so many of us started out with. All right, so I thought I'd show the uh, hats lined up all in a row, uh, the indie hats here, all the brown ones that I have. Um, Let's see, we have the Advantage Harrison, the Federation 4, and the Cotswolds. Advantage Harrison, Federation 4, and Cotswold. So you can see that it's not, uh, it's not too bad. You know, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good cheap option for a hat. I mean, it doesn't compare to the um, Fed 4 or the Harrison as far as material-wise, but the craftsmanship is very good. Um, and, you know, the price is not bad for it. You know, it's not overpriced like the uh, Dorfman Pacific Cat. The craftsmanship on this is great. They do a great job with this. Um, I will say that, that the craftsmanship on this hat is great. Well, I hope this review helped you out. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, if you like everything I'm putting out there, um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I'll try to bring more fun stuff for you. Okay, until we see you again, y'all have a wonderful week, and God bless.